The Reverie is now live, and I'm going to be going over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watchers. So, it is the weekly reset and the Reverie is now live. However, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of May 2019, then leave a comment in this video letting me know what it is about Destiny 2 that you like so far, as well as click on the link in the description box below. So, we are gonna go ahead and go over the milestones first. We have the Lost Crypt Dark, which we need to uh, visit Amanda Holiday in the tower. And that is specifically if you guys do not have the Thunderlord quest that was last week's and it's still here for this week. As well as we have the Reverie Begins, which we need to speak to Ava Levante at the tower. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As for the Traveler, uh, we obviously need to speak to Ava. Uh, Ava. Then we also need to collect, uh, um, complete, sorry, 20 bounties, 5,000 clan XP, two weapon forge frames, coming over to Mercury. We have the Heroic Adventure, the up and up, as well as Mercury is the flashpoint this week, and you need to complete public events, lost sectors, and heroic adventures if you do the heroic public events, uh, you can get this done a lot faster. As for the Vanguard, you need to complete three daily story missions and then complete three strikes. Modifiers are Solar Singe, Grounded, as well as Brawler. And then we need to complete a Nightfall as well as, an, as a Nightfall with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are the Lake of Shadows, the Pyramidian, and the Tree of Probabilities. Lake of Shadows is probably the fastest. Coming down here, we need to go ahead and complete four Gambit Prime matches, as well as three regular Gambit matches, and get 100 uh, towards progression in the Reckoning. Oh, and a private matches. Huh, that's cool. As for Crucible, Crucible uh, mode of the week is Supremacy. And as for all Crucible matches, we need to complete five of them. Also, you do get extra glory this weekend. Or I'm guessing either this weekend or during the event. I don't remember. Uh, one of the two. And definitely go ahead and grind that out. Because it's going to be definitely uh, useful this weekend. Then we have the Dreaming City. Petrovenge is in the Devalian Mists. Go ahead and complete two of her weekly bounties. So, as you guys can see, the tower is uh, very <laughs> interesting looking in Springfield. And I'm guessing this is uh, a whole Easter thing going on and stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has for us this week. So, starting at the very top, we have the Jubilant uh, uh, Engram. Sorry. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that comes in this. Let's go ahead and look at the armor. So, this is the armor for the Hunter. Looks pretty cool. This is the armor for the Titan, as well as the armor for the Warlock. See the helmets. That kind of looks like a uh, SRL helmet. It's pretty interesting. Let's look at the Titan helmet. Eh, same concept. Next, we have Ghost Shells and Emotes. So we have the Perfect Swing. And I'll just be going over the new ones. That's awesome. <laughs> then we have the uh, stylish fist bump. Okay. Then we have the ricochet dance. 
Oh, I like this dance. It's definitely going to be my new I just killed you in PvP dance. I got to have one. Then we have the uh, hype dance. I'm not too fond of this <laughs> at all. And last but not least, we have the glide dance. Okay. As for ghost shells, we have the ladylike shell. And it makes your ghost look like a ladybug. Then we have the lapane shell. And it's a little wabbit. Oh, that's cool. It's a little Easter bunnies. Then we got all of your other ghost shells that uh, you guys can go ahead and check out. <laughs> As for the ships, we have the Mayfly. <laughs> Looks like a little uh, glider thing. And we have all these wonderful reskin ships. As for sparrows, we have this wonderful thing that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. Oh, circumpolar light. Sorry. <laughs> that actually looks pretty badass. I definitely will say that. Then we have this uh, one. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna try to say that. Oh, equinoctical. Ha ha ha, Equinoctal Edge. And then we have a whole bunch more uh, ships that are reskins. Nobody cares about reskins. Coming over to shaders. First, we have the uh, ghost projections. We have the dragonfly projection. The cheese projection? Like, who thinks of this stuff? Like, seriously. The carrot projection? As well as the uh, petal projection. As for transmat effects, we have the spring breeze effects. That looks pretty cool. As well as the spring fountain effects. Okay. And then we get two new shaders. The Verdant Chrome. As well as the Verdant Crown. Personally, I like the Verdant Chrome better. And that is everything that comes in this uh, Jubilee Engram. Coming down here, we have the uh, Moo to Party Bundle. This comes with five Jubilee Engrams, as well as three Fireteam Medallions and 250 Bright Dust. And these are all other stuff that's been here for a while so for this week in the revelry we have the ricochet dance the uh wonderful <laughs> speeder no speeder go shell go shell carry projection uh grips class item as well as the transmat effect of the spring breeze effects on the next page we have your cup of tea and I don't have this emote, and I definitely want it. Then we have the uh, Disco Dance. Then we have a vehicle, another vehicle, ship, another ship. Then we also have the Sunshot Shell. It's an exotic ghost shell that looks like the Sunshot. 
what would they think of next? Then we have the Invade Projection. That actually looks pretty badass. As well as Chest Armor for the week. Coming down here, we have the Vostok Ornament for the Warcliff Coil. I actually don't have this one. And then we also have the Bunker for the Bug Out Bag. This is also an ornament. Then we have the Jade Coin Effects. Transmat Effect. As well as the Silver Beams Effect. Then we have the Bloody Tooth Shader, as well as the Nebula Rose, as well as the Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, and your Fire Team Medallion. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, and maybe one of those. And what is this? And this is still available, for some ungodly reason. That's in the way. Coming over here. Whoa. I'm not expecting all this. Out of curiosity, let's see what Lord Shax has around him. Nothing, of course. <laughs> and why doesn't Lord Shax have anything around him? Because Lord Shax is a badass. And he I'm pretty sure he refused to have any of this pretty stuff around them. That's T-Spikes. Coming down here. Let's go ahead and talk to Eva Levante. Oh look, more pretty springy stuff. Get out of my way. Eva, what up girl? Welcome to the Reverie, my friend. In the city. Spring is a time for ordinary people to celebrate the simple fact that we are alive. However dark the night may grow, we are still here, still standing. I want to share this tradition with you now. You guardians must never forget the power of joy. So, please, revel, revel in being alive. Break some rules. Happiness is real. We must cherish it where we can find it. Woohoo! I get to break some rules! Reverse Tonic, a refreshing, fizzy concoction brewed with love and light. In recognition of the years of reverie, even the tiniest swig is guaranteed to put you in a good mood. Huh. So, we just got 50 reveler, uh, Reveler's uh, Essence, and I guess 75 will give you Reveler's Assortments, as well as 300 will get you the Arabla... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the Arbalest, which is an exotic linear fusion rifle. Let's take a look at this piece. So, we have, for the Intrinsic Perk, Compounding Force, which fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields and enemy combatants. Sounds interesting. Then we have Extended Barrel, uh, Projection Fuse, as well as Disruption Break, which breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. Interesting. And then we have Composite Stock. And that's pretty much it. It's weird how it doesn't come with any ornaments. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be saving up my Reveler's Essence to get this. Go for the weapon! And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.